This isn't the way in? That way leads down into the valley. Wow, you know your way around, yeah? Huh? Hmm. I wonder what that could be. And no, he was not talking to Titus, so... Okay, uh, down here we can actually uh, run into uh, the last enemy that we need for uh, the Comlands to be finished, so... Let's see if I can uh, run into him. It's a pretty common enemy down here, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Epod. Um, lucky thing about this is that uh, they're really weak to Deathbringers, so we can uh, almost uh, almost immediately kill them all. So I don't think that the TKO ball will uh, actually be effective against them. Okay. Well. At least he can be stoned. Hmm. I thought I would kill him by now, but... Let's see, does he have creeping steel? And now we have uh, all the enemies that we need in the calm lands. Um, we could actually go and uh, finish up the area, but um, I'll, I'll save that for the next set of episodes. So, because I have some more important stuff that I want to do here. Ooh. Yep, rusty sword. Again, not the same ones as in Dragon Quest VIII, so... But... This is here, um... Plus, we're, we're gonna need it for later on when we go for ultimate weapons, so... Yeah, um... I don't think that you're going to be too successful at it, because, uh... Well, uh, last time the Crusaders, uh, took on Sin, they got, uh, cream, so... Okay, and I'm back, and that was just, uh, two epages. And for some reason, uh, the screen was incredibly blurry, so... I'm actually lucky that I got to uh, show off one before this, so... Because it was really hard to see anything. And, uh, back to that was, uh... An epage and two mix scouters, and... I can't remember... Uh, I, I don't know if it was, uh... The Podge or one of the big scouters, but uh, it, it dropped uh, a weapon for Riku, so should probably check that out. Yeah, the Battle Freak. Actually, um, you know, the Battle Freak is uh, a little more powerful than the Devastator is. Hmm. Oh well. Huh. <sighs> Okay. Now we enter here. Where are we? 
we? The faith is inside. As are the fiends. <gasps> hey, this where? Hmm. Where? What? The summoner I guarded on my first pilgrimage died here. Yuna, let's go. The faith awaits. Even though this is uh, actually considered a tipple, um, there is no tipple uh, treasure in here, so... At least no official one, so... But in here we do have a couple of really tough enemies. Um, there's uh, one particular enemy that I'm thinking of that... Uh, you should really have um, at least two characters. Um, I have Titus and Kamari with a uh, flea. Um, I do not have them in the group at once because uh, there's one enemy that uh, I am not sure if we can even uh, just regular run from it. Um, uh, that thing is uh, really nasty because uh, it can kill you right away your your entire group. So there are a couple of enemies here that. Uh, let's see, one on. Just want to make sure that uh, he actually is alive with us. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways, um. Oh, uh, some peons. No, right. Okay, Valapor is alive. It's pretty good. There's going to be uh, certain instances in here where uh, we're definitely going to be uh, wanting Valifor, uh not only for Sonic Wings, but because Valifor can fly, so... I'll probably be taking on a lot of enemies here. Um, if I do not get up to 200,000 by the end, um, I might actually grind on my own for a little bit. Um, fortunately, there is a save sphere uh, pretty close, so I'll, I'll probably just end it out and uh, start it up from there, so. Right. And even though this thing is uh, really not active for us right now, um, it will be active. Uh, Later on, when we actually uh, try to get out of here, so because we actually have to finish the uh, um, the temple first, so okay, we have new enemies here: the imp, the mech hunter. Which we're also going to be running into a lot of these things later on, so. And just a regular e pod, so. Luckily, um. Uh, like all monsters that are, uh, the mech ones like this. We still, we can uh, just take it apart, so. Makes it uh, really easy to, uh, to actually beat those things. Mega Phoenix. Yeah, th this area is uh, it's gonna be a pretty useful one later on if we uh, need more Mega Phoenixes. So, because I think this is a uh, 
one of the only real areas that we could go to that actually uh, has enemies that drop them, so... We have new enemies here. The Nidhog. Which really isn't uh, too bad for us. And the Dark Element, which uh, is really bad because uh, they're really not weak to any uh, elemental or anything. Um, plus, they uh, actually um, uh, cast Reflect on themselves. Um, uh, the only thing that will uh, really take down in uh, one shot is that death touch. So um, I might actually break Lulu out um, to kill one of these things if I can. So. And I don't think the uh, dark elemental is uh, is weak to um, like stone based attacks or anything. So apparently the Nidog is. Man, that was funny. Shoot. Well, uh, reflect is off, that death won't work, I don't think. Anyways, I'm not gonna bother uh, actually casting against that when I have reflect off, so. I do gotta say that uh, I'm really thankful for it having a, um, for it having a map that we can actually look at. Because um, if it didn't, uh, a lot of places would be uh, really hard to get through. So. Okay, so it must be uh, one of the other ones I'm thinking about. 